Uh, welcome back. Today we're looking at this guy's face. And unfortunately, we're going to be using this guy as an example of what makes an unattractive face. Okay. And we're going to give him tips. Hopefully he sees this and improves. It's from the Looks Maxing Advice subreddit. I know it's pretty brutal. Uh, I'll try to be as kind as possible. Okay. So first thing we see with this guy's face is that his facial thirds are very off. So the face is divided into thirds, right? And we see his upper third is 20% the height of his face. This portion is 20% of his total face. And we want this closer to around 30%. And we see this is due to his eyebrows being super high set. Okay, we look at those. We actually have a measurement for that as well. Yeah, damn. And you know, again, this software is Face IQ Labs. It says, your assessment, unideal, your eyebrows are severely high set. And they are, they really are. So we take the height of the eyes, we draw a line there, and then we compare the height of the eyes to that line to where the eyebrows are. Hopefully that makes sense. You can kind of see it drawn out, right? And his eyebrows are 3.3 times taller than his eyes above the eye line. That's very, very high set eyebrows. We can see, you know, sadly, the truth is the eyebrows are halfway up his forehead, right? And, and ideally we want the eyebrows as close to the eyes as possible. If I were to like squint, this is where we want the eyebrows and they're super high set on him. It's probably the biggest flaw on his face. So that's one of the, the ma major harm harmony contributors that's deducting. Look, he completely destroyed his facial third score. It completely destroyed his eyebrow low setness score. This is one of this is like an example of a huge deductor of facial harmony. Now, on top of this, unfortunately, his eyebrows are also super downturned. Okay, with an average of negative twelve degrees. Wow. Yeah, it's actually going off the chart. Not to be too brutal, it's literally going off the chart in the negatives. I guess you guys can't see that. Yeah, so his eyebrows are downturned as well, unfortunately. Like when we're looking at his face, the eyebrows are super high set and downturned. And it's kind of leading his eye region to be like a one out of 10 eye region, right? Like if we were to just isolate this, I'd give this like a one out of 10, just to be honest, you know, unfortunately. So those these are the kind of the deductions that add up to make a face. By the way, he got 20% facial harmony, right? Another big flaw, right? The cheekbones, are very low set. So we're looking at the widest part of the face and this line right here is only 58% of the mid face height. Ideally, we want the cheekbones as close to the eyes as possible on attractive faces. That that's typically what we see. So yeah, the face IQ lab says your assessment unideal, your cheekbones are severely low set. So that's unfortunate. He does have a, a few positives like a wide neck and his temple width looks good. Let's see what else. Good lowered upper lip proportions. Good ipsilateral lower angle. Good jaw frontal angle. Again, he has a lot of submental fat. He has fat underneath the jaw, which kind of makes the jaw angle more relevant because we want the jaw to be defined and then the angle kind of matters. His jaw isn't defined. If I were to give him some advice, I would say, you know, losing body fat would be number one. And I have some videos on how to do that if he ever finds this video. Again, this is on the looks maxing subreddit, he may. He has a good mid face ratio. This is proper, that's good. Chin to philtrum, see because he has the fat hanging off the jaw, it kind of makes his chin look bigger than it is. His chin to philtrum is actually still slightly off. Uh, not a huge deal, I think the philtrum is just a bit slightly long. Like I think the short, the nose is short, slightly, very slightly. Yeah, so here's another one of the, the big flaws unfortunately. And, and this is again due to the eyebrows being super high set. Okay, so this is the facial width tie ratio. He got a 1.42, and we can see that this mid face is not compact. And on attractive faces, we see a very compact mid face. This is attractive women and attractive men have a compact facial width tie ratio. So if we drop the eyebrows down to where they should be, then his facial width tie ratio would be probably like 1.9. His facial thirds would be fixed. And again, attractive faces, we see this at 1.9 to two, and he has a 1.4. I've never even seen one this low. I think it's going off the chart. Yeah, it's going off the chart in the negatives. Like I've never even, it doesn't even show up on the, the thing, unfortunately. That's really brutal guys, but I'm just saying it how it is, you know? I mean, no disrespect, it just is what it is. I have sympathy for this actually. So yeah, I mean, what, when we're looking at, you know, what makes this face have low harmony, it's mostly coming down to these eyebrows being super high set. And there is a fix for this. It's called super orbital rim implants can actually lower the eyebrows. He could also get fat grafted above the eyes. 
and also to the nasolabial folds. So like in terms of looks maxing for this guy, I would lose the body fat, get facial fat transfer, get the super orbital rim implants, probably get a rhinoplasty. That's what I would say. Yeah, we look at the mouth to nose width, even for black men, this is unideal for him. It, the nose is still too broad, the mouth is too narrow, unfortunately. Now he has a good eye separation ratio. So we're looking at the pupils, the inner pupillary distance divided by the facial width, and this is good. But unfortunately, his eyes are way over one eye apart at 1.5 to 1.52 eyes apart. So his eyes are far more than one eye apart, but he has good eye spacing in terms of the inner pupillary distance. And what this is depicting is that he has low papibr papibral fissure length, PFL. So what that means is that his eyes are basically small in an absolute sense. Like you guys can see the eyes aren't horizontally wide, like someone like a Tess Sala or Elias Deput. You know, those are faces with very wide PFL and he has very small eyes, which kind of throw that ratio off. He His jaw is slightly too wide actually. And I think this is just due to the body fat. Like if he cut down the body fat, he'd probably fix that. And he has a good total face shape, which is good. But yeah, I mean, this is kind of a good example. We only have the front, the front profile here, but this is a good example of the flaws that add up to create low facial harmony, okay? The super, super high set eyebrows throw off a lot of measurements, facial width height ratio, facial thirds, eyebrow low setness. On top of them being negatively tilted with lots of upper eyelid exposure is what's making this an objectively bad eye region. Again, the facial fat is something you can fix. And we just don't really see much bone robusticity and that could also do be due to the facial fat. But yeah, I mean, you know, kind of a brutal video, but I think it's important to show, you know, good and bad faces and kind of explain the logic behind them. I think it's pretty interesting. And it also kind of gives us a roadmap to what he can do to improve if he does actually want to improve. Because man, I'm gonna be honest, if you're at this stage, I can't imagine, well, he's posting on the subreddit for a reason. He needs advice because this is not going to be a face that's going to get a single like on dating apps, right? We all know it. And so something has to be done if that's your goal. See, I really mean no disrespect. I hope this guy takes some tips and improves, especially with the body fat, potentially some facial fat transfer, which is a pretty low risk and pretty good ROI procedure you could look into that would definitely improve your looks. And uh, if you would like this software for yourself, this is called Face IQ Labs, where we're able to see all this. You can actually apply for the earliest access and discount in the description below. There's a link. And that'll be releasing in about a week for people on that wait list for the cheaper price, okay? I think this software is really gonna help people improve, hopefully. And we're gonna, essentially, it'll actually give you a roadmap of how to improve based on these measurements. Eventually, that will be implemented. And I think it's going to actually really, really be a positive thing for the market in terms of people who do want to improve and they don't like the cope, the BS, they want to know the real facts about their face. So yeah, if you really do want to know how attractive you are and your actual facial breakdown like this, uh, you can apply for early access below. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Peace.